company, Wear Your Wish, launches on the 28th of February, just a few days away. Uh, but there's so much work that went into it. So take us back to the beginning. When did the Wear Your Wish idea first come to you? So when COVID happened and life got turned upside down for, for everybody, my my life, you know, what, what I did for a living is everyone that knows me knows that I was a school bus driver. I was Miss Kate. And um, I, I just knew that when it happened and the world kind of shut down, I kind of got put into a panic mode because I didn't know what I was going to do. I, you know, I have an autoimmune disease. Um, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to just jump back in the seat when the time came. And I always wanted to be in charge of myself. I didn't want to always have to answer to somebody else. I didn't want a boss. I wanted to be a boss. I wanted to make changes in the world. I wanted to do so many things that are cliche, but I knew I could do it. I knew growing up, the feelings that I would get, the, the dreams I would have, I knew that I was meant to do more in my life than what I was doing. And some people say it takes, you know, sometimes you have to just hit bottom before, you know, things get better. And I wasn't necessarily reaching a bottom, but I had reached a point in my life where I knew that here's my chance. Here's my chance to try for something different because one, I was home anyways. Um, Two, I now had the time that I never had before because, you know, when you're, when that type of work that I did, you had to literally be available for your job from five in the morning all the way up until five at night. You never knew, you know, if extra help, um, weather, there was all sorts of stuff. So I never really had a chance just to sit during the day and focus on me, my life, my dreams. And I found myself sketching again. I found myself drawing again. I found myself doing the things I used to do when I was little, teenager. And I decided, I'm like, you know, I don't know what's making me do this all of a sudden, but I decided to take it the step further that I never did. And I started saying, well, what can I do with this? There's a there's a reason why I'm doing this. I just don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what's drawing me to this again. Um, why did it take until I was over the age of 40? Life wasn't aligning for me to do what I always wanted to do until COVID happened. And once once that happened, I I just said, you know what? I'm never going to get this chance again. I don't think I'm, if I don't do this right now, I'm never going to do it. So I did it. <laughs> it's ironic when you talk about COVID breeding an opportunity, because literally this podcast right here springs from COVID, where yeah. it kind of started for me from a way to escape the world. And so I, I was always told by grandpa, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And, you know, that's something that I can remember him saying when I was younger. I remember him saying that at different spans of time in, in life when um, we would be talking and I could always, you know, I, cause I remember I'd ask him a question about why would you want to get up so early to go to the, to the donut shop? You know, who wants to do that? You know, who wants to get up that early to, you know, that stinks. I wouldn't want to do that. And he used to always say, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. He loved it. You know, even, and I wanted to love what I did. I wanted to be proud of what, what I was doing. And I'm not saying I wasn't proud to all of my other jobs I had over my life. And I was very proud to, you know, to be a bus driver. I was, I loved the kids. I loved the family. I loved my coworkers for the most part. Um, but I don't think it's ever going to be a comparison to working for somebody else, to working for yourself. In addition to 
becoming your own boss? What has been the most rewarding part for you of this this entire journey to this moment? What's been the most rewarding part? To this point, I'm going to say my my children being proud of me. Not that I'm saying they were never proud of me before, but you know, growing up, you know, being a teen mom to kind of following in the shadows people you went to school with, being home young with kids, didn't have a career, didn't own a home, seeing my friends in college, having fun, doing the things that I always thought I was going to do. And, you know, once my kids were older, a point where they really needed to be influenced, positively influenced, someone to look up to. You know, I wanted to be that person, but I was also young myself and made lots of mistakes on the way with them. And I know when I used to have times by myself, you know, and it wasn't a lot when you were a parent and when I would have some alone time, you know, I would always, you know, say when I would be speaking to whoever was listening to me, you know, I want my kids to be proud of me. I want my children when they are adults for them to be able to look back on, you know, their upbringing and where they are and for them to be able to say they were proud of me and they're doing that. And it's, I didn't do this looking for that, but that's one of the side effects of, I guess, bringing my, my, my whole outlook on life is better now. My whole outlook in general is better because I wake up happy. I, I, um, I want to, I say go to work, which you literally going to work is opening my laptop, but I love going to work. I love my Zoom meetings with my great team I have. Um, I love seeing my girls excited for their mom. I love seeing them sharing on their social medias, how proud they are of me. Um, and also sharing my vision with people and seeing the look on their face when they get it. Because sometimes it's not as easy to just say, you know, where your wish and it's about wishing. Yeah, it is, but it's, it's more than that. It's not just wearing your wish. It's, it's the feeling, it's the, the motion, the whole, um, you know, the steps involved with, with the, the wishing and stuff. And when I sit down and I explain it to people and then they get it and then they can start to kind of share back with me the feelings that they got and hearing they're getting exactly what I want them to get. It's, it's great. It's a great feeling. Naturally with the rewarding part of the journey, there's also difficulty. So what have been some of the challenges that you've had to go through? Cause this has been a long process. It's not like you woke up one day and boom, here's right. all of, everything is done. You've had some difficulties. So um, what have those been and how have you dealt with them? Um, I, I, anybody that's looking to start a business and in my type of, I think any business knowledge is power. You cannot have enough knowledge when you're starting your own company and reach out to people, reach out to people and reach out to them again. And a lot of times, you know, you ask somebody, can I buy you a coffee and, you know, have an information download? Can I plug into your brain for a second? Can, um, can you just let me pick your brain for a second? Just, you know, you'd be surprised the people that will sit down with you because, you know, you're, you're benefiting, but they're benefiting because they realize that they are doing something that somebody else sees as valuable and you're getting value from, from their words. So for me, uh, I thought I knew more <laughs> than, than what I knew. And um, when I started this, um, you know, I literally thought it was going to be just as easy as, okay, I want to start my own business. So I started going on YouTube and I started looking up starting your own business. And I would, you know, be writing stuff down and, and watching more, writing stuff down, emailing people, writing stuff down. Um, and 
I would find that it doesn't matter how many videos you watch. It doesn't matter how many um, people you talk to. There's always going to be something. Always going to be something that someone else didn't tell you. There's going to be a little Easter egg that somebody else has for you. And for me, I think I personally jumped the gun a little bit when I first started. And um, I, I kind of... I had the right steps, but I went out of order. And had I gone in order, it would have saved me um, expensive mistakes. And when I say expensive mistakes, I mean, it's it's not just, hey, I think I wanna you know start a business. There's legal um, aspects of it. Um, depending on the line of work like me, there's trademarking involved. Um, if you want to do business under a different name, which I found I had to do, um, that was the expensive mistake I'm talking about. Um, so for me, it's just make sure before you sit down and you're going to swipe your card to make an investment on yourself because it's an investment. A lot of times to start your own business, it's not free. I, I mean, I, maybe it is for some, for me, it wasn't. I mean, I, I literally, it, you know, it cost me some money to get my business started, you know, with the, like I said, the, the trademarking, the making sure that um, my stuff was legal, making sure that I wasn't picking, my name wasn't being used by somebody else, making sure, um, uh, you know, tax purposes, um, just all, all of that stuff. Um, I had to make sure it was all done the right way, which is why here we are in February and I started this business a while ago and I'm still not launched yet because I needed to make sure the T's were crossed, the I's were dotted. There are no hidden little things that are going to pop out. And um, that's what was happening was just when I would get to the point where I thought that we were good, something would happen. And Again, had I done all the research, I would have been prepared and those hurdles wouldn't have been hurdles. They would have just been, you know, a, 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 you know, a little rock in the road, not a mountain to climb. Well, so. for all of that struggle to get where you're at, now yeah. comes the time where the launch is imminent. Like we said at the top of the interview, 28th of February, yep. where your wish goes live. So what I want to do for all the listeners out there of the podcast, once the launch occurs, what is it that you're going to have out there for sale and where can the listeners find your products? Sure. Um, so the website is called where your wishes, um, dot com, And my product line is starting with just my lounge, my lounge, I call it my lounge line. And it's literally just starting with my, um, my original, all of my original designs from way back up until maybe last year that I tweaked a little bit. And um, the, it'll be some sweatshirts, some lounge pants, t-shirts, tanks. Um, I have some hats and I believe we have so socks and stuff like that. I'm sorry. I have to think real quick. Um, because we have so we have so many um things coming up, really cool things coming out. And um I didn't want I wanted to see, you know, how how this was going to do, I guess you could say. I wanted to see how the world is going to react to where you wish. How 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 are they going to feel about um my designs, my, my branding, um, the idea behind it, the, you know, are they going to get the good, good feels that I want them to get when they're seeing my site, when they're seeing my designs and, and, um, once the launch happens, it's going to, I think it's going to probably be when we shoot for our spring summer campaign, um, that's when you're going to see more of the, um, we have not bedding, but we have like blankets, we have pillows, we have, um, uh, cups, we have, um, bags, we have jewelry, we have wall stuff. We, ha I mean, we have so much stuff that, um, 
it's, 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 I didn't, you know, just, I wanted to release a little at a time so that I could, you know, see where people are at, how are they receiving it? Because I want this to be almost, you know, we kind of go back and forth with each other. I get lots of feedback from people of um, designs that they like or types of outfits they like, clothing they like. Do they prefer more of a certain type of shirt over a different shirt? Same thing for bags, same things for cops, same things for stuff. I wanted to make sure that all of the stuff that I was putting out was was stuff that I knew that people were going to like and enjoy and could use. I don't want someone to, um, you know, look at my stuff and just say, oh, I love those designs, but I would never use it on a this. I would never use it on a this. Or I like that sweatshirt, but I don't like the big hoods. I don't like that. You know what I mean? So I wanted to start off small and then grow. You've got a lot of different designs too. I know that I've I've seen them, but I know you have either. I don't want to say alternate ones, but you've got like a main design and some other different ones. Yes, my um, so my my branding that you got that people see on my Instagram and on my Facebook, my brandings, um, my logos and stuff like that. Those were literally years of all of my designs that were made into one concept for, and um, my, it's, it, my designs are literally, they're so different. You're never gonna, it's, it's like, and I made sure I talked to a lot of people when I say, you know, I have some of my designs are very delicate and intricate and pretty. And then I have ones that are just like, it's there you go here's here's a beautiful star or um i have it's written i have instead of it being pictures there's just words instead of um you know there could be a dandelion with the star together or it's just the star or it's, i mean i have so many different things and then i have you know designs that you have to take a second and look at it but when you look at it you get it what you'll you'll have to look for instance my my logo with the um i'm sorry with the r going into the i so it's the star it's the dandelion going into the star but in between the seeds you'll notice there's an 11 11 in there which some people took them a little while when they realized it and when they were like oh i never even noticed that and like oh that's so cool egg. yes and you'll find in my designs you'll see that a lot sometimes if it's if i have a lot of 11 11s 11 11 is a very important number um for me people out there if they it, i haven't met one person yet that when i say what do you think of when you think of 11 11 they'll say make a wish or they'll say, oh, it's the, you know, it's the wishing number, or it's, you know, when I see that number, I look for that number and I make a wish or it's synchronicities. It, you know, for the, the very spiritual people, for the people that believe in signs, for the, for the, the kids that just don't really know what it is. They just know when it's 11, 11, they say, make a wish. I mean, that was, so um, on, even on those designs, you'll, you'll find something in there that you wouldn't even, but you have to look for it. I won't tell you where it is, but you'll all of a sudden you'll just see it and you'll be like, oh, which is why I made sure my site was where your wish is because nine times out of 10, your item's going to have more than one wish. It's not, it's always going to be multiple. <laughs> so the 28th, where your wish is launched. Yes. What comes next? What are the plans for the rest of 2021? I know you've gotten a lot of positive feedback already as far as the company and the brand go. So where do you see this going for the rest of this year? I, I see um, once we hit the spring and summer, I see us making a bigger splash than the ripple that we're making right now. Um, just due to COVID, a lot of things we're not able to do that we weren't really want to do. Um, I have a luck collection that, that will be coming out that's um, based off of, again, just think of like things that you think of when you think of luck, the horseshoe crab, the horseshoe crab, the horseshoe, um, 
you know, the four leaf clover, um, ladybug. I, um, I asked people a while ago, you know, what they give me ideas of what you think that are lucky. Uh, I have always wanted to be able to help others. And I try to do it as much as I can. Um, I wish I could, could do it more. And, um, you know, I ultimately, I see myself being able to give, give back to the community, give back just in general. And um, I'm hoping that my, my company will get, you know, to the point where I'm able to do that. So you've got the website, whereyourwishes.com. Where else? I, I know you said Instagram. Um, if you want to just give anything you want plugged as far as Instagram, I know you've got a Facebook page just so that the people listening can go and find you. Yes. If you go on whereyourwishes.com and enter your email address in, I have a, um, there's a contest being run that everybody that um, signs up on my, my list gets entered in to win a, uh, a free hoodie, um, which we have quite a few entries. In, I didn't, you know, realize how many people were, we're going to start entering. <laughs> so, huh? I said free always gets people involved. Yeah. Right? Um, on, yeah. On Instagram, it's, um, it's where your wish with a dot in between each word. And on Facebook, it's just where your wish. If you uh, look for my logo, um, the, my logo is a dandelion, um, it would wear your wish, um, right next to it stacked on top of each other. Um, and yeah, um, it's going to be, I, I hope people see, see my designs. I hope they like what they see. I, I, I hope that when they come onto my page and they can just stop for a second and just remember when things were good. Remember when um, you were little sleeping over your friend's house in the summertime and you know, you're outside maybe at night because your parents let you hang out a little longer and you look up, you see the shooting star and that excitement that you would get as a kid or, you know, when you're outside and um, it's, it's like fall, it's to the time where things are starting to get kind of, you know, dark and the summer's over and all of a sudden out in the, you know, the, the grass, you just see the perfect dandelion. And I don't mean the dandelion that's missing a few seeds, the perfect fat white dandelion that you pick and the whole process of you find it, you get it, you close your eyes and you make the wish and you watch the seeds, which, you know, when I was little, they would say, you know, you make your wish and the wind is going to take those seeds up to the stars and, you know, it's your, your wish will come true. Just be patient and be positive and think positive thoughts and, you know, your wishes will, will be granted. And, and that's, those are those feelings, those good feelings that, that you can, you, everyone has one, whether it's only one, but you have, everybody has a time in their life where they had a really, just a really good, I call it good juju, a really good energy. Just life felt great. I, I, I don't know if it can be described as when people win money. I know that's a big thing for people, that exciting feeling when you win money. Um, little kids on Christmas morning, um, getting married, having a child, um, you know, being rewarded for something, just that feeling that you get. There's a feeling you can't bottle it. You can't fake it. It's just this awesome feeling. And when you have it, people's faces look different. You can see it in their eyes. You can just see it and you know that they're feeling it. And that's the feeling that I want people to get. If I could bottle that feeling and sell it, this would be where you wish. So that all sounds great. It's really exciting. And it's been a long time coming. I know I've been hearing all about as you went on and it's so exciting that it's finally here. And like we've been saying, I've had a lot of people have told you like it's gotten good reviews and feel like I can see this taking off. And that's why it's great to get you on the podcast and have you talk about it now before rather oh than God. months down the road. Like, oh, yeah, it's big now. It's like, no, no, no. We're going to watch the whole journey because as we go along, 
with the podcast, the listeners out there, I'll keep updating because where your wish is going to be a frequent sponsor of this podcast. That's Every right. Time you have something new you want shared, like you said, the luck line. All you got to yeah. do is just say, I got this coming out. Can you share it? Yup. There you go. I love it. And, you know, anybody out there, don't ever, ever think that there's something that's not in your grasp. It's, I never, ever thought that this, this dream of mine would be something that could come to fruition. Um, you know, I've, I've done this all by myself. I didn't, um, you, you know, I just, I would be using my, my, what do I, what do I want to say? I just would be saving money and saving money and saving money. And anyone that knows me knows that I'm pretty good about, um, making sure that all of my, my, um, finances are, are in order. I will do the best that I can with what I have. And, um, I, my children never had a need or a want for anything. I, I made sure they had everything, but at the end of the day, I would be saving money and I never really knew what I would be saving money for, but I would just not spend it. And I couldn't figure out, I'm like, yeah, I, I could have taken a trip. I could have done this. I could have paid off my car. I could have done so many things. What, what am I doing? And I, and I know now that everything was aligning for me to be in this position in 2020, where that money was going to be the investment I made in myself. And that's what I did. So it's possible. Sometimes it may take a little longer. It may take you, you know, your resources may be different. Um, you may have um, lots of people in your lifeboat that can help you. But if you have the drive and you, you have a vision, just do it. Just do it. If you can only do it in your spare time here and there, do it as much as you can to the point where you can take it to the next level. Because I'm telling you, it's the best feeling. Well, you have gone from wearing your wish to now living your wish. That's right. And thank you so much for taking a few minutes on the eve of the launch of your brand to spend some time with the listeners of the podcast and give them a little bit of an insight into who you are, the journey you've been on. And now here comes the fun part, the launch <laughs> and everything, all the seeds you planted come to fruition now. That's right. So thank, thank you to all of my, to you, my brother. Thank you. And just all, all, I mean, in addition to my family and my friends, but you know, all of the people that have helped me, I mean, I have a wonderful team that is that I have with me, my social media team, my web team, my um, the graphics team, like we've all been they've all been intricate parts together. But without them, this would not be what it is. So just they know who they are. I don't want to put them on the spot. But, um, you know, MC, um, April, Kaylin, you guys are awesome. I appreciate everything you've done. And um, we're going to keep going. So Excellent. Thank you yeah. so much. We look forward to watching the journey and being a part of it. That's right. Thanks, guys.